Hi guys and welcome back to SiteEnge. In today's video I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, enabling works. I'm going to show you how we constructing the piling mat and then later how we carry on with the dig. So let's go. So actually guys when we start, no there's no danger of death. These cables are just off cuts. All the grid lines ready, you got all setting out. All you need to do before you start actually any works, you the, 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 the very good thing would be to do the survey and we had it and you actually need, need to do it the level survey of all this area before we start digging. So that's gonna be for your estimators or for your all, all QSs. You need to know how much of the material gonna has, has to go out and then how much crash has to go in. So that would be the first thing, the level level survey. The first, uh, the second thing, let's say, that would be the services. You need to know what the services are in this area before you start digging and before you start preparing the piling mat. So first would be obviously uh, for the capping beam and then later for all this area, you need to know services. You need to know everything really, what's in the ground. And after this, uh, obviously the permit to dig has to be issued by probably by the principal contractor or by the, yeah, by the main contractor. Uh, and you might be dealing this with as, as well. So as you can see now the capping beam is finished here but this piling mat here was uh, 14 meters wide and one meter deep so it's quite a lot of material so after my first video when I show you the the targets and all the coordination that would be your, your just next job just to mark the capping beam line and then that would give you the line for the for the piling mat and uh, this was also the tensor Geogrid was used in here. That's actually a bit of it. You can have a look here. Uh, I'll show you the photo of it as well. And then later, after this is finished, after we construct the capping beam, we're going down below to uh, to construct the piling mat uh, for the lower level for the basement. So uh, always, always going this way. You do the, the the piling for the for the contig pile wall, and then later we are reducing the levels, which is all our big bulk dig here. It's around 13,000 meters basement, so it's very huge. It's two buildings here, and then we reducing levels. We're going back uh, to the to the level to the formation level, which is 42,160. In this case, I'm going to show you in the drawings in the drawing section. Actually, I'm going to show you this and how it's going step by step. We had a marketing suite there in the corner as well, so this is quite interesting with the, with the temporary piles as well. I show you this on the drawing. This is the crush material. They call it 6F2. That's what we're going to be laying. For this pile mat is actually 500, so you can have a look here how we're doing. Show you the our machine still reducing the levels here. We found some old foundation, which is gonna have to break them and then just get rid of them and install the pile mat. So on top there, you see the digger. There's gonna be another pile mat because we need to finish off where the old MSU was. They're going to be part of capping beam and obviously going down and pile caps and all the rest, usual stuff. So that pile mat there is quite bigger, I mean uh, quite thicker, it's one meter deep. And as you can see now, we got the piling rig. So piling going to start probably today. They set up there, they got the drum, agitator. So this is ready. Probably on next video I'm going to show you more about the piling, but that's the pile mat here. So after we pour the copy beam, this is uh, the piling mat down in the basement. We're doing now. This is uh, actually some piles already done in here. You can see that that's going to be the testing pile. I'll show you how the test is being done uh, when the guy's going to come. But you can see we got some piles here to be broken down and uh, some of them already are. And we're reducing the level here uh, to the formation level which is uh, 42 160 i just show you what i do typically when we're cleaning the piles i got the big datums here this is 43 660 in this case i try to keep it one meter above the top of the pile mat so that's easy for everyone even for some foreman can check it later or you can actually see if it's done right after uh, the installing the mat, that's, that's easy. I got few down there as well. So uh, that's it really. You just, you just need to make sure the level is correctly set. This is very important as simple mistake can uh, turn in a big, big losses. So that, that's what I actually cover on my setting out video. Uh, we got a guy here. That's the 6F2 material. That's what we're going to be laying 
Oh, look at the big man. <laughs> yeah, that's a 6F2 material. We're going to be laying that. Uh, that's going to be, that's constructing our piling mud, actually. It's 500 of it, 500 deep. We're doing in the layers and we're using the roller. Uh, I'm going to show you how we roll it as well. So oh, that's, you see my another rate on there. Don't mind if I record it, yeah? But it's just, just for me anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I want to show you actually at the end of this uh, video uh, as our company is responsible for maintaining the pile mud as well after heavy rains look what we got here we actually had to stop the works and we scraped off around 50 mil of top of it which is the muck now with uh, with our crash and we had to bring the nice fresh uh, material here just to top up that 50 mil to get to the proper level to top of the pile mat so i actually set the laser here again i thought i'm never going to go back here with the laser but you see that can surprise you so that's why you need the levels you keep them datums uh, all the time you can you never know where you can use them again yeah so i think that will be all for today's video i uh, if you got any questions obviously just leave the comment below and uh, i'll reply to it no problem with that uh, you see the piling rig there it's ready uh, in the next video i'm going to show you the piling and then we're going to jump into the capping beam and then uh, from the cupping beam digging down to the pile caps step by step all the job so yeah see you next time <laughs>